so I thought it might be useful for you to um, see how you could use the Google Chrome browser to save you having to log in frequently in into Google Apps and so that you can keep also so you can keep your own personal Google settings separate from your MPFS ones so uh, I'm looking at Windows just now I've, I've downloaded and I've installed Google Chrome um, I found Google Chrome by just going to google.com and uh, slash uh, Chrome and I was able to download and install the Google Chrome browser so this is Google Chrome um, that I've got set up and what I'm going to do is just show you how you can sign in to Google Chrome and keep separate Google Chrome setups so you'll notice at the moment I'm not signed in anywhere and along the top here there's a little icon with a person on it and um, what I can do here when I click on it you'll see it comes up with the option to sign into Chrome so I'm going to click sign into Chrome and you'll recognize the Google login screen now I can sign in with uh, my personal Google account I can sign in with an MPFS account so I'm going to sign in first of all with my MPFS account which is relatively straightforward and what will happen is once you've signed in with this account all of your settings will synchronize um, so all of your information will come down and be stored securely inside the profile inside Chrome so I'm just going to um, link this to my data so just click link data and I'm now signed in okay I've got that so that's great because what that means is now that when I go to my NPFS settings so for example when I go to drive.google.com to look at my Google Drive you'll notice there's no sign in now I've signed in in the browser, I've linked my account and all of my content is here. This is Drive just telling me that I've got 15 gigabytes because NPFS has Google Apps for Education you've got an unlimited store amount of storage for your files. So um, that's me signed into Drive and now from here I can also access my Google services I can click on the menu options here, I can go straight to mail and I don't have to sign in and sign out everything I need is available there. But I might also have a personal Google account and I'd want to keep that separate from the activities that I have with MPFS. And that's very easy to organize and do using the uh, Google tools here. So I'm going to click up, up on my name here and where it says Charlie and I'm going to switch person. And up comes my person chooser. I can choose which account, which identity I'm using the Chrome br browser with. So I can add a person and I can add now a, a personal uh, Google account. Now I've created a person, I need to sign that new person in. So I'll just go up and click on the text on the button at the top of the browser here where it says person. And with that person I can then, once I've added that person, I can then choose to sign that person in. So I now could sign in with an own, my own personal Gmail account or my own personal Google account. sign in with that account and now my personal settings for Google's Google services will also be inside my Chrome browser but I'll have two identities that I can switch between them so I can now switch between my MPFS account or switch and use my personal account.